Okay, so as some of you will know, this is a laptop hard drive, or at least was. Um, it used to be a 500 gig Seagate laptop drive, and uh, well, it isn't anymore. The uh, owner was, let's just say, less than careful with their laptop, and they brought their laptop to me to uh, ask if we could get some of the data off, and the short answer was no. Uh, when I got the drive, it actually just was clicking and whirring. I tried a few different tricks to try and get it to read, and to the well, at the end of the day, it just wouldn't. I suggested that they take it to a professional recovery company, um, to which they said, no, that would be too expensive, so can you destroy the hard drive for me? So um, that's partly why we're here, but um, in the process, I just want to uh, share with you the anatomy of a hard drive. So in the middle here we've got uh, the spindle. Now that spins the actual platters. They're the discs themselves which hold all of your information. Then on the this is uh, basically a read arm which contains at the end of it the uh, hard drive read heads. They float well usually due to air pressure. They float literally at a very very tiny microns I believe above the uh, actual hard discs themselves and they read the drive. Uh, now this arm is usually sprung, uh, I believe this one still is, but due to it being uh, switched off there's not no pressure there to hold the heads above the disc so it's actually rubbing. But um, as I said the drive's already broken so there's no data to retrieve. And um, as you can see if I just lift it there it very quickly returns back to its original position. Now that is so if the uh, power is lost to the drive it will automatically park itself so that um, say you're using a laptop and the battery goes dead um, you can quite happily take your laptop away um, knowing that the well the user wouldn't know but um, but the uh, head for the hard drive ends up in a safe position so that um, as the hard drive gets moved it's not somewhere where it's going to get knocked and damage the actual discs themselves um, the read arm is actually controlled by um, essentially two powerful magnets and an electrical coil in here which basically the coil um, uses the motor effect so power goes through the uh, coil there you can probably just see the copper traces for it um, the copper wires so electricity goes through that and that causes the motor effect between the magnets which moves the head to a certain position on the disc now as I said this drive is already damaged um, I believe that the heads are already damaged anyway, so there's no point in worrying about it. Um, also, here is the uh, drive lock at the bottom. Um, now, this is very, very light to operate, and on a fully working drive, this would stop, if I try and hold it shut, the head from leaving the park position until there's enough air pressure to release the lock and then that would allow the head to move onto a disc freely. Now, um, hopefully I can show you this in action. I've got a little uh, external adapter here for serial AGA drives. So if I just slip that onto the end, do it one handed, it isn't as easy as it looks. There we go. All right, and turn it on. Um, as I say, this drive damaged, so it's going to make a racket rather than the uh, nice silent and smooth operation, so here we go. There you go, there's the actual disc spinning and there's the head scraping along the drive. So that is the uh, essentials on how a hard drive works. Now, as I've shown, those heads are floating very very tiny distances above the discs um, any sudden knock or movement whilst the drive is in operation will cause them to actually crash into the discs and scrape the information off well that's the effect um, it's almost akin to a record player if you knock a record player whilst it's um, playing your favourite record um, there is every chance that the uh, actual head can scratch the record which would then cause the record to skip or jump or not play the, uh, the music properly anymore. With a hard drive, um, the head crashes into the disc and just scratches the uh, surface, which damages the, well, obviously would damage the uh, the way that the disc operates and, you know, in extreme cases can damage the head so that it won't read anything at all. 
but um, for the most part it would actually damage the disc and stop it from reading bits of information. So that is why you should always at least put your laptop into standby or shut it down before you put it in the laptop bag and take it away.